know now that aren't, I want to share my life. What about like, does any part of you take pleasure or just smile a little bit in the fact that, you know, they let you go to make room for somebody to bring back Heather, to hire Jennifer Armstrong, to hire Noella, and here we are. We have bad ratings. Like, does any part of you say, Good. Yeah, the petty part. <laughs> um, I wish I could say I was that far on my journey that it it didn't help numb the sting. It does. If it was doing well and it was getting over a million, it'd be like, oh, that sucks. But it, yeah, of course. It's like when your ex, you know, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, 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 I would be. I look... I work every day to be the best person I can, but there is still a part of me that can be a petty bitch at times. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think also, like, no, I mean, that's honest. I mean, I... I, I, I can't I, be anything but honest. I wish I could be... I would be thrilled. Like, Are you kidding me? Like I said, I'm a good person that can still do bad things. But, yeah, it does help numb the sting. Yeah, for sure. I would be... I mean, well, you know, it's like Andy even leading into the season. This There was a lot of buildup. Look, look. We we waited. This wasn't just well, like... It was supposed like, to be a reboot. Yes. And it wasn't. No. Like, if you're going to do a reboot, go Miami. That was a great reboot. That's how you do it right. Like, that was excellent casting. You nailed it. This was just like a bunch of people that don't fit. It, you can't cast a... Sh- I, I swear, I could... I should be in casting. You and me both. Like, we could do a great you job. You and me 100%. I mean, I, Tamara should have come back, cast Megan King, cast some of Tamara's friends... You just can't bring in random people. Do you think that they should just do what they're doing with New York and just start over? Yes. I think at this point you just can't make a cohesive cast. It's just too late. I think you should bring back some of the OGs because there's a nostalgia factor to Housewives. We we don't always want new people. We have to be invested in your life. I want to see how Simon's doing. You know, I want to meet – you know, Brianna's daughter. Like, there is something nostalgic about seeing how these people are. It's why Jersey works so well. Let's be honest. I care about Gia. Jersey I care about had Melania. a season. Oh, my God. They're still but doing well. When Teresa moved out of her house, I was like, I remember when you moved in, picking yeah. up a tile. So I think you ha- you can't just keep casting new people and expect it to fit. You ha- The viewers need to fall in love with you. Otherwise, they're just going to tear you down. I think that's why Shannon still has a job, personally. I mean, no, no, I'm not coming for her. I just think that's why they kept Shannon. You need something to hold on to. Do you think the OC should do what New York did and have literally two shows, like start over and have an OG show? No, I just, I think casting in Orange County is very hard. Um, you it's do? It's not a cool city like here. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> let's mean, like, n- n- no, um, no offense. So I, I moved here for a reason. Uh, you did. You know, Orange County is really fake. And I, we always say Orange County because that's a show, but it's mainly Newport. Like, because Orange County is diverse. Santa Ana, San Clemente. That's not where they're casting from. They're casting from a very small part of Orange County. Um, No. It's just boring. Everyone says, what do you like about it there? I'm like, there's a lot of parking. Yeah. That's the best thing I can it's say so about it. It's so spread out. Like, it's a great it's, place it's to raise kids, I guess, because place. there's so much parking and great schools. Yes. But when I'm home now, because I do, you know, I'm we do nesting, so I'm in and out every other week, I go home. I'm with the kids full time. I don't even bother going out because I can only go to Mastro's and Javier's so many times. And The Quiet Woman, by the way, it's boring. It's, it's just those three. Those it's are like really cover bands the only from three. The 80, I'm like, I'd rather stay at home and watch... Mind you, every time I'm, I say this all the time, every time I'm there and go to Mastro's, I don't see none of you. I, I, Heather and Terry are there all the time. I see nobody. I've been there 8,000 times. No, I, I go to the Quiet Woman. Where is everyone? But um, that's, yeah, Shannon goes to Quiet Woman a lot, but she goes out later. I'm in bed by 10, so uh, yeah, I go early. Me too. Noella goes to Mastro's a lot. Um, I used to go to Mastro's more because there's a really hot server there. But. It's a good scene there. <laughs> Do you think, I mean, then to your point, this is, it's not the cool city like New York. Do you think they should just, listen, Dallas has moved on. If I was in charge, I would move it to Peacock. You would? And bring Miami full time to Bravo. Because you know what I would do if I was in charge? This is, I mean, well, what, okay, what do you think they should do? If the, okay, here's you, the OC, okay, Broadway. All right, here, all right we, here, this is what you need to do. used to be a housewife. Let's bring okay. Broadway back as producer. So, I'm giving you a, ra- a promotion now. Bring back Vicky, Tamara. Megan King, Heather, keep those four staples because they were a good combination together. I mean, that was iconic. 
Um, then you either, you have a choice, cast some of their friends. Tamara has some great friends. Heather, Heather has friends. I don't know them, so I don't know if they're great or not. Tamara's I know for in life. Um, and then, or bring back like Alexis or Gretchen. You and I are so alike. I mean, those are good. This is just the reality of the situation. Yeah. First of all, Megan is, first of all, she's underrated, but her whole life has changed now. So she's a different person, people. Bring her oh, yeah. back. I'm friends with Megan. Yeah. In like real life. And I've, I've spoken to her And recently. I love her because she is unapologetically herself. She is honest. She is raw. She went through hell and back and she is standing. She is now a single mom working to support those kids. Yeah. Like she's a freaking badass. It'd be so, like a new housewife with OG, with OG n- But yeah, Alexis, nostalgia. Yeah. Gretchen, Megan King. I agree. I mean, Alexis's life is totally different than you saw when she was on it. Right. Right. I, you know, she's not Jesus Jugs anymore. Now she's got like a hot boyfriend. She's yeah. living the dream. That, that... that would be a core cast. Mm-hmm. But I, I think you got to go back to its roots. Try it out on Peacock. See if it hits. And then bring it back. Or, <laughs> I, I agree. I that's those. Or I say you just got to start over. I say the, yes. the the integration won't work. Yeah. Or you start over. And uh-huh. personally, for me, if you were going to start over, I think you need to go, not. 20s. Uh, listen, off. Uh, I I like no, housewives. You can't older. do 20s. I, I do. 40s. But I just think right. If we're gonna re, I think then we have to go like the hills, a little bit older. One little kids. No offense. Take a lot of time. They're boring. You want people that are a little bit older because you have more free time. You can travel more. Yeah. Like you need women that are a little older. And also, and I, this is the truth. As a woman, you find yourself in your late 30s, early 40s. Yes. That's when you come into your own. So. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, there's some amazing people out there that they could find. They need to start over and just do a, like an actual reboot. Do you think they would cancel this? I mean, I'm sure it's not off the table. It's a lot of money. And look at look at things like Ultimate Girls Trip, Summer House. Those are low filming cost. So it's not people just always ratings, say to me like because the, the, the ratings production. for Summer House they're not great. Listen, that show has come a long way, but I, I always tell people I'm like it is such a cheap show. Yeah. that's what it is. Like you have to keep in mind the cost, the production crews. It you could do a much different show with one you know one or two crews for a shorter shooting schedule. You, yeah, and I can tell you this: I don't know what Heather gets paid to come back, but I would think it's a seven. I would think it's seven figures. That's my honest opinion. I don't think Heather came back so easily. I really don't. I mean, I, I don't know. And I, Shannon's salary is still up there. Yeah. It's up there. So it's expensive. It's an expensive show. I can't wait to see what happens. I don't, they can't keep this up, though. This was painful. It was hard. Do you agree with everyone who says, I mean, I saw something today that says, like, worst Orange County housewife in years, Jennifer Armstrong. I'm not saying it. I'm just repeating what I've read today. Um, I think that Jennifer, because I know her personally, I think that Jennifer has a very fine line to walk because she is the breadwinner of her family. So you don't want your doctor throwing glasses and flipping tables. You know, no. she has to keep that line of professionalism. And that is hard in the housewife bubble. So, yeah. you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things that she wish she would said. I know for a fact a lot of her funny best scenes were cut. I know that because, you know. But um, I think that's hard. I think you have to remember she has to pay her bills, guys, and no one's going to go to a doctor that's like a hot mess, whatever. So no. Like, <sighs> what about how do you think Noella did? Even though like you didn't watch every minute, she was very. Listen, a lot of people, all a lot of the things that people said about you, they. I mean, Heather Dubrow has put it out there too, but. The audience themselves are like, they don't buy it with Noelle. They think that she is acting. They think she came and studied. 